Hi, I'm Andrew Gard from Equitable Equations. Okay, and we're streaming together. So we're doing a collaboration. Uh, and the reason for that is I absolutely love Andrew's channel. And I'm, I'm wanting my audience to subscribe to his channel. And, and, uh, and I really, really find conversations with Andrew about R and about statistics really exciting. And I think we're going to have some great conversations here on YouTube and on other platforms. And I feel exactly the same way, Greg. I love what you're doing on YouTube. I'm looking forward to, to sharing that with my audience as well. Um, and I think that, uh, that my audience is going to benefit a lot from what you're doing and probably vice versa. <laughs> my first question to you, Andrew. Okay, here's a quickie. Why, why do you love R? Why did you fall in love with R? What about R programming caught your attention? Uh, talk to us. Yeah, so I've, I've had a number of experiences in my sort of R learning journey over time where I felt like I was being asked to think about data or visualization or statistics in a slightly different way. Um, and there was a bit of a learning curve. And I felt so rewarded afterwards where I just felt this is the way that things just can, or one way that things can be done very naturally. And that's just been a delightful learning experience for me. How about yeah. you? Well, you know, for me, I love the idea of using code. And I know a lot of people find the idea of code a little bit intimidating, but actually once you get past that, it's such a rewarding experience where you write a little bit of code and it's actually not that difficult. And you push go and it does what you asked it to. And I just found, I just get such a thrill out of that. It's kind of really, really, it's extremely satisfying. And right. then I've learned over time just to love the process. So when I do something and it doesn't work, I really get interested in like, well, how do I fix that? How do I, you know, how do, let me figure this out. And that whole process of like struggling with it and figuring it out and eventually getting it right. You know, I just find it all really rewarding. The other yeah. thing about R that I really fell in love with is the data visualization capabilities. And I, and I genuinely believe there's nothing else out there that can do data visualization in, in the way that you can with R. And in today's world, so much of what you want to do with your data is to tell a story. You know, you want your audience to, to, to see something that really speaks to them, that tells the story, that the, the, the message from your data just pops off the screen or off the page. And R is just absolutely amazing for that. Yeah. The, the grammar graphics and the ggplot2 package, it's just been absolutely revolutionary in R and I think the, in data visualization more broadly. It, it's changed the way I think about data and visualization immediately. Yeah. Okay. So talking about ggplot, I, I, I want to <laughs> ask you, favorite package in R? What is your favorite package in R? You're not allowed to say ggplot because I, when you ask me that question, that's going to be my answer. Yeah. Um, so I mean, there's so many fabulous add-on packages in R. Um, Dplyr is fabulous for the data wrangling and ggplot mm -hmm. for the visualization that you mentioned. One that I've been getting a lot of mileage out of lately is the here package, which is one of those single function packages. The here function in the here package um, makes it really easy to find where your files are. So if you're making a markdown document, doing a, a data analysis for someone else, um, you don't have to worry about trying to make your system figure out where your where your file is or if the person that you're sending the analysis to can find it on their machine um it's a it's a single use and very um effective function nice so nice. you already mentioned about ggplot why do you why are you loving it so much well i just you know ggplot really revolutionized the way we think about developing a, a data visualization and in, in developing a graphic so it really kind of and it, it took, I'll be honest, it took me a little bit of time. And when I say a little bit of time, like 10 minutes to get my head around the different way to kind of, you know, you first want to define your, your data and you define your aesthetics and you define your mapping. And that isn't something I'd done before. But once you get past that, you can create such absolutely elegant graphics and layer upon layer and that, you know, you are limited only by your imagination. You know, the, the, it's you, you're not limited by what background graphics yeah. are programmed into whatever it is you're using. I mean, you, you right. really have so much control. Um, and I, I just absolutely fell in love with ggplot. For people that don't know, you might be new to R or you, you maybe you, you've never used R and you're thinking about it and you saw a video called Why I Love R and you thought, let me watch that. Packages are free. And when you install a package into R, it expands the vocabulary that you've got. So and the capabilities within R and these packages are produced, you know, by all sorts of people out there. And uh, there's such a rich community of people working in R um, that you can find a package to do just about anything. 
you know, and and uh, I, and I, I, we often talk about tidyverse. Tidyverse is a collection of packages. Andrew, I know you use the tidyverse because uh, I've watched your channel and I love that you always promote it and you really talk about it. So that's, that's fantastic. Could you just tell us a little bit about you know when people subscribe to your channel? What is the, what's the journey you're taking them through? What are they going to learn on your channel? What is your sort of value proposition? And I'm going to yeah, pop so, the name of your channel on uh, the bottom of the screen so people know where to go and look. Thank you. Um, so up until this point, I've done a lot of videos just helping you to solve problems that you will encounter as you're doing data analyses, whether they're data wrangling issues or more frequently sort of inferential issues. You have multiple variables. So maybe some of them are categorical and you need to do a regression analysis on those. Um, so if you have specific questions about specific functions or specific tools, that's really what I've been focusing on up to this point. In the coming months, I'm still going to be doing some of that, but I'm going to be shifting more to just uh, full-on data analyses, taking 10 minutes, working with a large data set, and just getting some practice working through it, trying to take it apart and uh, draw some conclusions from it. How about you, Greg? What's, uh, what's exciting about your channel? Well, and I'll say I, I I love your channel for those reasons. So what you've just said, I've my experience of your channel is exactly that. My channel, you know, I started my R programming channel at a point in time when I was really a beginner. Yeah. And I think I understood what an absolutely an absolute beginner was struggling with, and I made videos to address. And then as I've been learning R. I've been bringing people on that journey with me, if that makes sense. So yeah. my first problem was, how do I get data in? And so I made a video. This is how you get, like, you know, this is how you suck the data in. Then how do, you, how do I clean the data? So I made a video about how do you clean data? And as I've been learning, I've been bringing people along on that journey. Um, and so uh, hopefully people who know absolutely nothing can come to the channel and, and just kind of get taken along um, all the way up to, you know, I've been now kind of looking at regression analysis and statistical analysis and, uh, and, and, and what I'll often do if I'm going to be doing a video, Andrew, I might go to your channel, learn a little bit, you know, <laughs> and piece together a video that I'll then teach on my channel. So people might see some repetition there, but it's all good for the learning process. I, I love um, the idea that we can go out and learn and then share what we learn on our channels. I think that's uh, one of one yeah, of my yeah. goals as well. I think it's something we have in common there. It's a lovely. Just a quick, if people don't mind a quick advert, my channel is sponsored by Nested Knowledge. Nested Knowledge uh, is a platform that let the systematic literature review online. It's, a, it's an amazing package uh, platform. I absolutely love it. If you do academic work and you're doing literature review, click on the link. It'll be in the description. Go check them out. I absolutely love them. Okay, that's that's my advert for the day. We'll get back into our programming now. Uh, um, Andrew, any tips or advice for a person who hasn't used R ever and is thinking about it? So they've just, literally just downloaded R Studio and they they, they want to know like, what do I do now? What's my what's the first first thing that you would tell them? Yeah, I think the most important thing is to not be intimidated to just jump in and get started. Um, one of the amazing things about this environment is just um, how easy it is to, to just jump in. Um, and you mentioned ggplot a little bit ago. That is an incredibly powerful plotting tool. But you can start making beautiful graphics almost right away. And yeah, there will be all sorts of frustrating mistakes along the way, but it, it's incredible what you can do very quickly. Um, so I would I just agree. say get, get started right away. How about you, as a, as someone with a little bit more, a uh, little bit of experience as a as a learner and a programmer? What uh, what advice do you have? Well, I mean, the one thing that I'd say to people that are beginners is this: there's so much support yes. out there. There's such a huge community of people yes. that love R and you'll find that R enthusiasts are proper enthusiasts. It's, you know what I mean? We're, we're, it's it's kind of quite funny the way people that love R really love it. And there's so many people out there that will help you. There are web pages like Stack Overflow. You go there, you can post a question and within 10 minutes, you'll have multiple people providing answers and solutions and suggestions. And, you know, there's YouTube channels like Andrew's, like mine, with loads of free teaching content you can just log on. Uh, so so learning R is much yeah. easier than you than you think it'll be. Yeah, You know what I mean? Uh, you, you, you may feel as if it's going to be difficult. It's not. It's easier yeah. than you think. 
the the community surrounding R is truly special. I've not encountered anything like it in um, math, statistics, science, computer science at all. Um, I would also just add to the list that you threw out there the the R for DS learning community that you can find um, on the web, but in particular on Slack is fabulous, and that's centered around the R for DS um, textbook. I didn't that know that. I'm not um, strongly recommend that. I've gotten a lot of tips there over over time. That's uh -huh. The, the community is really one of the main strengths of, of R in general. So I'm glad you mentioned that one. And added to the community, R allows, and this is in a, in, in a way that, that other packages wouldn't, allows for a very, very high degree and ease of collaboration. Yes. So you, you can, you know, if Andrew and myself were working on a project together and we're in different countries, it's very easy to be pushing the code back and forth, to be collaborating, to be sharing data. There's... And we won't get into how you do that now because that's that's not you know what not within the scope of this particular video. And maybe we do a video sometime where we where we work through that, Andrew, together. Uh, but it's it's you can even if you're not collaborating like that, you can take your code and show it to someone and say like, what have I done wrong? You can get help, you know, and a, a, a third party can like go through line by line what you've done, and you can, you know. So I I love the fact that um, it's auditable. Like what you're doing can be looked at. Uh, and refined and improved upon. It's it's uh, it's absolutely amazing. Absolutely. Um, I'm, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what directions this collaboration will, will take us in. Me too. This has been great. And I think, Andrew, we'll do many more of these. So thanks for your time. Thanks for sharing with us your, your lovely channel. And the, the links to both of our channels will be in the description below. So go check them out. Subscribe to Andrew's channel if you haven't already. Thanks um, to you, Greg, so much for this uh, for this conversation and for your wonderful channel, the R Programming 101. Looking forward to continuing these conversations. Okay, take care, everybody.